So, Blue Beetle is officially on the way to become the second lowest grossing DCEU movie. It is expected to end its run with somewhere around $110 million at the worldwide box office. That will place it just above Wonder Woman 1984 and below Shazam Fury of the Gods. I think, this is a very harsh outcome for the entire team associated with the making of Blue Beetle. I think Blue Beetle is one of the best superhero movies in recent times. It gave me exactly what I have been missing in superhero movies since the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. It knew exactly what it was going for. The thing that really stands out about this film is its simplicity. In the era of larger-than-life multiversal movies featuring cool cameos from other legendary and iconic characters, it was an origin story of a C-list superhero that really managed to catch my attention and cured my superhero fatigue to a large degree. The main theme of Blue Beetle is family and family bonding. In its short run time, the movie really managed to make me care about this Mexican family living in the outskirts of Palmera City. Before I go further, I just want to quickly request you to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. It truly is the only thing that motivates me to keep making more such awesome contents. Okay, now let us come back to the main topic. Blue Beetle did not feature any big purple alien trying to erase the universe or a nuclear bomb about to explode in the middle of the city. This is not one of those modern comic book movies where every character has superpowers. This is also not one of those movies which is just a giant big trailer for the next movie in the franchise. Blue Beetle has an extremely simple story which is self-contained and is more relatable than most of the superhero films we see these days. The only thing that was in danger throughout the whole runtime was Jaime's father and Jaime himself. Yet, it made me more emotional than all of those high-budget superhero flicks where the entire multiverse is in danger. The most important thing is, it made me care and love the character of Blue Beetle who I did not even know existed as part of DC Comics. Before watching the movie, I thought Blue Beetle would be just a cheap CW bootleg Iron Man kind of a character. But after watching the movie, and especially that scene where Jaime meets his father in heaven was so beautiful and made me realize that Blue Beetle has a unique identity of his own. That scene had the same effect on me, as watching Uncle Ben die in the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. Blue Beetle also had some really cool and fun action sequences which were extremely campy and unrealistic but works extremely well with the tone of this film. I absolutely loved Blue Beetle's costume. It is honestly one of the coolest superhero costumes according to me. The movie even manages to give a proper backstory to the villain Carapax within just one minute at the end of the third act. So, overall, as I already said Blue Beetle is undoubtedly my favorite comic book movie of the year and also one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. What do you think of the Blue Beetle movie? Let me know in the comments down below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.